Okay, I wanted to take a minute and show a video of uh, something that we don't do a lot of nowadays, and that is how to make edits to a website using FTP. And so there's uh, FTP is what I view as the old school way of deploying our websites, which was essentially getting the files from your computer and transferring them via uh, FTP application like FileZilla. So uh, nowadays when we deploy our applications, you know, we're using these different processes like uh, CICD or um, deploying with Google Cloud Scripts. So there's, there's different deployment methods and so this is kind of an old school way. Um, and so the first thing you know that you need is you need a hosting provider. And so where are your website files actually located? So Network Solutions is a very popular one. GoDaddy is another one. There's many places you can buy hosting uh, and you have to buy a domain name. And so I'm, I'm going to do this example because I, I have a, a website that I kind of maintain. You can kind of see I'm logged in here. Uh, under uh, someone's credentials, uh, Laura. But uh, the first thing that you need is an account on somewhere like Network Solutions. And um, through that, you'll need both a domain name and hosting. So when I look at the hosting that we have uh, on Network Solutions, I might need to go to my products. And so uh, these are new services that I'm clicking on. But uh, if I look at my products, um, Here's my account home, and then here's hosting. You can see I, I have a hosting package already provided. Now when you have hosting, um, you'll, you should have an FTP account manager. And so these are the credentials um, to kind of get into the website. Again, these are username and passwords to uh, connect with your, your software um, to transfer files from your local computer up to the um, up to the hosting site and so uh, I use I used to use a lot this uh, piece of software called FileZilla and FileZilla is you want to make sure to download the FileZilla client I saw a lot of people always mis mistakenly downloading the FileZilla server but FileZilla client is a piece of software that can let you transfer files via this FTP uh, protocol um, from your client desktop or laptop, whatever you're on, to uh, a remote hosting provider. So I'm going to go ahead and download FileZilla and I'll quickly install it. And then I'm going to use FileZilla to plug in my credentials to connect to my hosting. Um, so you see I run the installer. And um, do not install, I do not install these additional pieces of software. I don't need any of that, but I, I will install FileZilla for everybody. And click install. They always throw some extra software at you to try and get you to install some things you don't need. Uh, so now I have FileZilla installed and this is what it looks like. If I can get it on screen for whatever reason, it's off of screen a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I have a host, a username, and a password. Um, and so, again, kind of going back to Network Solutions, uh, the website that I'm updating is uh, lawdayrun.com. And so I'm just going to be making a couple of tweaks to this website. And so the host should be uh, lawdayrun.com. And I could throw in the full HTTP colon slash slash. Okay, but I believe my host is here. Uh, I'm just going to give it that. And again, kind of going back to my account manager, you could see Evan Gudmestead is my ID. And if I don't remember my password, I can always reset it real quick. And you can save your passwords should you choose to. By default, port 21 will assume that. I'm going to click OK. And you can see over here on the left, this is my desktop. This is the computer I'm on. And on the right uh, is the uh, folder that has htdocs. So htdocs is kind of the, the home folder. And you can see I've got an index, 
and uh, race info HTML. These are my website files. And so I can stick out an old folder for uh, you know some some old things that we used to do. But basically this is the root on the right of the web server. And so what I want to do is I want to copy all the website files onto my desktop because these website files are not on my desktop. Then I'll make an update and then I'll copy them back to the remote. So again, you can see local on the left, remote on the right. The process, copy from the remote to local, make changes on local, and then upload back to remote. Um, and so if I kind of go maybe C drive, and then I'll say users, and then uh, I'll just put this on my desktop. And I'll make a, a new folder here, create directory on my desktop called LDR, law day run. And I'm going to try and be a little selective around what I want here. I don't think I need this class folder. Let me look at CSS. I do want to bring that over. So I'm in LDR on the left. I'm going to bring in CSS. Downloads, definitely downloads. Fonts, sure, we'll bring fonts. Images, yes. JavaScript, yes. Probably not old. So I'm going to hold down Control. And again, I'm bringing in CSS, downloads, fonts, images, JS. Holding down Control and clicking videos, contact index, pictures. Uh, nothing with PHP, that's old. Race info and sponsors. So I should be able to just drag that over. And you can see this queue. We're copying from the remote to the local and transferring them one at a time. Um, the GIF took a little bit to transfer, so let me pause this while that's going. Okay, and so now after all that transferred, you can see 138 successful transferred, nothing left in the queue, so I can minimize. And here's my folder for law day run. Now, uh, if you know how to work with HTML, of course, you should be able to open this up in your editor of choice and be able to make changes to your HTML, changes to your CSS, or changes to your JavaScript. Now, the changes that I'm going to make are not really relevant to this video, so I will pause as I update my site locally, and then when I'm ready to re-publish uh, that, I will resume. So I'm going to make a handful of changes, maybe five or ten, uh, and then... Um, you know, and so I'll ma maybe I'll just make one right off the bat. So here on the home page, for example, um, the date for the run is no longer in 2023. This is May 4, comma 2024. Okay, so that'll be the big change. You know that we can test to make sure that this change uh, is also the 21st annual Law Day run coming around the corner. So I'll make some more changes, and then when I'm uh, ready, we'll resume. Okay, and so I've made a small number of changes, and you can see one, two, three, four, about all the HTML pages have had a minor change. Uh, so uh, this is on my local machine, so let me go ahead and close. Okay, so this is the live site. And so now what I can do is go back into FileZilla. I'm in my Law Day Run folder, and I'm just gonna take these five HTML files and upload. Of course, it's going to need to overwrite the files that are currently on the remote. So it's going to prompt me about overwriting those files, and that's what I want. So I'm just going to say, okay, okay. Uh, I can just say apply, always say okay for the current queue only, so it'll overwrite all five. And transfers have finished. So I took those local files and used this FileZilla software to push them to my remote server. And now when I go back, the, the tricky thing. Uh, here, one of the first things you learn as a web developer is clearing the cache. Okay, now luckily uh, my cache was cleared, and you can see I have the 21st annual Law Day run on May 4th, and uh, registration uh, registration is open. Register today. No, but um, you know this this process can be used whether you're making an edit to an existing site or if you uh, are deploying it for the first time. Again, you just have to get your uh, hosting setup with FTP account information, username and password. And when you're on a Linux uh, machine, if, if it's a Linux operating system, they typically link you to this root htdocs, and that's the root directory of your website. So when you authenticate, you go into that htdocs, 
and this is where you put the root of your files. Now the biggest mistake that I see here is that people want to copy this entire folder into this root directory. That would be a subfolder underneath the root. And so that's the mistake that I see. Do not copy this root folder itself. Instead, you go into this LDR folder. These are the files in your root that are copied into this htdocs root uh, on your remote site. And so that's how you either you deploy for the first time or redeploy using FTP. A lot of websites are still using uh, FTP for deployment. So I call it old school, but a lot of websites still use this.